हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू द डैप वर्ल्ड आई एम यूर इंस्ट्रक्टर गणेश एंड इन दिस कोर्स वी विल सी वॉट द डायनेमिक एन एफ टीज आर एंड हाउ टू डिप्लॉय वन दिस कोर्स इज एंटायरली डिजाइन फ्रॉम द डेवलपर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो लेट्स हीट अप द प्रोसेसर्स एंड गेट स्टार्टेड यू मे हैव सीन मेनी एन एफ टीज ऑन द मार्केट प्लेस लाइक ओपन सी मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर डिजिटल एसेट्स लाइक पिक्चर्स आर्ट्स एब्स्ट्रैक्ट्स और इवन सम आर गिफ्ट एंड वीडियोज If you notice all of these NFTs are static ones. They don't show any dynamic behavior like responding to some external triggers or changing patterns based on the use case. We will see how to build these kind of NFTs which are called as dynamic NFTs with the help of Revise network as we proceed in this course. Also we will discuss the complete process and technological stack that is used to build both the dynamic and static kind of nfts on the blockchain now what are the prerequisites to build the dynamic nfts well you should have a basic understanding of how blockchain works and have some knowledge about solidity programming language and smart contracts you can learn these things from the dapp world platform itself also it's better if you have ample knowledge of what the nfts are and how they work I will try to cover most of these things in the course but if you want to learn it in detail you can take the NFT fundamentals course on the dapp world So these are the topics that we are going to discuss in this course First of all we will see what are NFTs and how blockchain powers them Then we will see what are the cryptocurrencies and the tokens and how do they exist on the blockchain Then we will see what is Ethereum and smart contracts along with the fungible and non-fungible tokens and then some ERC standards to build the tokens on the blockchain. Once we have got the basic understanding of this, we will discuss the ERC721 standard in detail that is basically used to deploy the NFT tokens on blockchain. While discussing the ERC721 standard we will also discuss some theoretical aspects of the nft tokens like its properties and how to identify the owner of the token or transfer it to somebody else etc then we will deploy one nft smart contract with the help of open zeppelin and remix don't worry if you are new to these terms you will get this as we proceed in the course then we will set up the ipfs storage and discuss the complete technological stack with the add-ons like token URI and metadata etc once we learn this stuff we can then again deploy our own token having all these things covered we can also load the deployed nft tokens on the open sys development network to test them now that we have learned everything about the static nfts we can go for the dynamic nfts Then we will see the dynamic NFTs in detail with their use cases and the applications in the real world. Then we will sign up for the Revise and install and set up the Revise software development kit. Once these things are done, then we will go through the functions provided in the Revise SDK and build our own dynamic NFT token. So roll up your sleeves to build the dynamic NFTs. See you in the next lesson.